This is lesson one of Hillbilly Guitar Picking. And it's an old style, but it's a good style. If you can learn to play good Hillbilly style guitar, you can learn to play any kind of guitar. It follows right through with jazz or blues or uh, classical, uh, you name it. You can uh, use this as a rock, music, whatever. You can use this uh, as your basic foundation for all kinds of music. So, and if we get through these lessons, we go down the road, I'll even show you some songs that, uh, that are in different uh, genres of music that you can actually play country style or you can play regular style. So anyway, uh, if you don't know a G chord, uh, I can tell you that um, the way I play it, I put a ring finger on the 6th string, 3rd fret, middle finger goes on the 5th string, 2nd fret, and the little finger goes on 1st string, 3rd fret. Now you can do it with um, ring finger uh, on the 1st string and 1st the 3rd fret, the middle finger on 6th um, string, 3rd fret, and the fifth string, uh, second fret for the index finger. Okay? Now, if you can't play that whole chord and you go, okay, I'll give up. I'm not going to be able to do this. Just kind of relax a minute. Take your ring finger and just put it on the first string, third fret. Right there. If that's all you can do, You'll still have a G chord, and uh, you won't have the full chord, but you'll be able to play enough. Just don't, just avoid that top string, and the rest of them will be okay. Okay, but try to get the whole chord as soon as possible. So anyway, G is your first chord, then C. And you can get these chords online uh, anywhere. They're all over. Uh, they're very easy to find. But uh, if you um, put your ring finger on the fifth string, third fret, and then your middle finger on the fourth string, second fret, and your third string, string will be open, and then the first uh, finger will go on the second string, first fret, and then the open... Uh, Next string will be open, that'll be your first string, just like that, and you'll have a C. And your D will be, take your middle finger, catch it on the first string, second fret, and take your ring finger and go down and catch the second string, third fret, and then the index finger will be getting the third string, second fret. So anyway. I play these chords all the time, but I never think about where they are, actually. Uh, and that's the way you'll get uh, as you uh, progress and get better. Uh, but for now, you got to learn, kind of like driving a car, when everything else, you got to learn where the headlights are and the windshield wipers and, and et cetera, and especially the steering wheel and the brakes. But anyway, um, that's your three chords. And the only thing, and if you have to play just, if you don't do anything else from this lesson, but put that one finger there on that one string and then and just bring down straight. Down, 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 down. If you can do that, then that's good because you've got to find success somewhere. And you'll also find sore fingers. That's another thing you'll get, but you'll get over that. But, you, but in order to find success, if that's what you can do, this first lesson will give you uh, a heads up on hillbilly guitar or any guitar playing really and um, you'll you'll find that you you uh, once you are able to do one thing then then you build on it and do something else so anyway here we go um, if you get, if you get a grand regular G chord just do four beats two three four five six seven eight I said four but it was actually eight and then you go to your C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you go to your D, do the same thing. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, and then back to your G. Okay, that's your first lesson, and I hope you do well. Uh, just keep picking. Uh, the main thing that you have to do is practice uh, at least a half hour a day. If you just want to get a little bit good, if you want to put an hour a day in, you're going to get a lot better, and you're going to see your results happening much, much sooner. And if you can put in more, any more time than that, I guarantee you, you'll be playing well uh, in no time. It's a very short time, I should say. Not no time. In a short time. You'll be playing pretty well. Now, will you have it mastered? I don't think so. Uh, but you'll have, you'll have a lot of fun and you'll enjoy what you're doing and um, you'll be ready for lesson two. So anyway, have a good week and enjoy the lesson and keep on picking.